Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another installment of my Death Pile Diaries. I cannot believe we are already closing in on two weeks into April. Okay, maybe it's only the 8th, but it feels like the month is flying by. The year is flying by. I'm not as far into this project as I had hoped, but what are you gonna do? Uh, so today I have, this is a regular tote, and this is actually the tote that housed all the lily that we did a video similarly to this a few weeks back that is now empty. I have this one that's basically two of these. It's so heavy, you can kind of see the edge of it. Michael had to lift it up on two of my bar stools for me. This one does not have a lid, and so it has been shoved around between my dining room, my bedroom. I mean, I, I have no idea what's in it. I mean, I'm looking in it, but I've got to get this stuff listed. So the goal for tonight, um, I left my house today to go pick up my kids from school, but it is a no makeup, wearing this shirt since last night, kind of night, but I want to get some work done even though it is now past eight o'clock at night. All right, my goal is to fill up this tote and realistically be able to take all of the photos of these items tomorrow. So that's the plan. Well, you know, sometimes I have amazing plans and doesn't always work out that way, but that's what we're gonna do. I have another box that you can't see that is being picked up tomorrow morning to head to Thread Up. That will be another video, but I decided since I've done two partner kits and they've been terrible this year, meaning I made $5. I used to have a 95% acceptance rate with those and Thread Up is just a disaster. Those items are ready to be 100% just donated. They are leftovers from the 400 pounds, which I am already so far in the green. It's kind of an experiment. So I'm doing their consignment pro beta program. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. But I wanted to get this done tonight because maybe I find a thing or two that I wanna throw in that box as well. So we're just gonna dig in. Uh, you might've seen some of this over the last almost three years here on my channel, but who the heck knows? Um, so we're just gonna see. And this is part of my death pile challenge is I have got some stuff hanging around that just needs to go. Whether it's, I've got also from my angle, I have a trash bag that needs to be dropped off at a thrift store as well of donations. So, all right, what do we have here? We have a Zara Kids size eight, nine puffer vest, but is it even real down? If it's not, it's gonna go. I have a box for Once Upon a Child as well that I plan to do. It is, Zara and their tags, 100% polyester. So this is going to go to Once Upon a Child. I should have drug that bin over here too. So for now, we'll just put it here. Sorry, Bianca, I cannot hold you right now. All right, we've got another kid's jacket, Ben Sherman, which is a decent brand, or at least it used to be, but it's only a size 12 months. I have so many jackets I need to list. This is a space sucker right now, so it's gonna go. These things probably came from a local, like fill a bag sale that I go to. I probably have a dollar into each of those. And at this point, it's gotta go. All right, this is a Disney Parks jacket, a little kid's jacket. Actually might even be new with the tags. I will list that one. One thing in my list pile, we've got denim. These are Gap size 30, 90s loose high rise, 10 tall. You know what, these came in a, some sort of thread up box and I tried them on and they, <laughs> they were, it was not, no, I am only five foot six. So while I'm not super short, I am absolutely not tall. These, I buy Gap jeans. I love Gap for myself. These were probably $80 brand new, but the resale just really isn't quite there. And so honestly, these, I have a bin over there to go to, they're from summer of 22. These are gonna go to Style Encore because I actually plan on Wednesday to go to Style Encore and Once Upon a Child, so perfect. This is why I need to be doing these and you guys are holding me accountable. I've got gloves. These probably came in a fun box, but what are they? Ladies Small, do they even have a brand? There's something. They do. It just says Ladies Small. Spandex, faux fur, lining, I don't know. These, I wonder, does Thread Up take gloves? I feel like they do. I don't know. I'm gonna throw them in the Thread Up bin because otherwise they would just get donated. All right, we've got some, oh, I remember, oh my gosh, probably in 2021. When did I start this channel? Well, for reselling, 2020 maybe. 
I got like, oh my hair, yikes. I got a box of Amazon clothes from some random mystery box company that probably doesn't even exist anymore. So these are like men's, um, some sort of men's, does style, does style Encore take men's now? Play-Doh's does, I can't remember. I'll put that in the Style Encore bin. All right, we've got a little Carhartt kids beanie, which yes, Carhartt's great, but this is an infant toddler. Hey buddy. Um, I don't know. We'll see if Once Upon a Child wants that. Could I sell it? Yes. And the whole thing is, could I sell all of this stuff? Yes, but all right. Disney Parks, new with the tags. These are Star Wars. Now these are cool. Like I want to list that. That's easy. New with tag stuff is great. I think this, oh, this is a Wiseman costume, dance costume. I think I had a couple of these. This is a size small adult. We are coming up to recital season, so it might be even a little too late, but that would be an easy listing. New with tags, okay? Size, Banana Republic size petite small. Oh, it's kind of cute though. <laughs> I have an audience. My son is watching me. This is quite boring or else uh, I would have asked you to help. You're gonna say hi? It's, are you going to bed? No, no. I'm just going to my room. Oh, okay. I love you. I love you. All right, this is Express, $80, size extra small, new with the tags, definitely the, not the right season um, for buy, sell, trade, or even, I don't know, but I'll list that, maybe. We'll see if I take my pictures tomorrow. All right, we've got, oh, I remember this. This was like the coolest thing in one of my thread up boxes, like several boxes ago. Uh, the 200 pounds, it's, it's a vintage Bonwit Teller dress. I mean, this is like straight up retro, actually vintage. It's got some staining on it and because it's vintage, I was afraid to treat it. I should just get this listed. I remember comps were, decent, but I just wasn't sure how to price it because it does have some staining towards the bottom right here, but I need to list it. It's cool. Someone even could just use that fabric for something. All right, this is the brand Peak, which it sort of had a moment, especially the Disney ones. This was my son's shirt. Uh, we do have a kid economy event coming up on Kidizen. I think signups are on the 14th of the month. Um, yeah, this has a little bit of staining, I think, here on the bottom. We'll see if Once Upon a Child take that. They like to price that brand up a little higher, which means I could trade that for like a pair of natives that I know will sell. This is another pair of those Amazon. I think there's three, yes, I remember. I have the craziest memory, or four, four of these. So honestly, this has been so long ago. I will see if Buy, Sell, Trade will take those from me. I remember I kept them because I'm like, oh, I have four. I'll list all four of them for like $25, but that's a lot of weight and room. We've got a Dis Walt Disney World 50th fanny pack, belt bag, whatever you wanna call it. It looks to be new without tags. Cool, I'll list that. Another pair of gloves. Thermalite, the brand is Au Clair. They feel like real leather. Ladies, size small, 100%. She, uh, sheepskin leather. Um, there's like a little something. Oh, got it. So yeah, I, we don't use those kind of things here. So I have no idea what those things cost. And that's probably how it landed in this death pile. Okay, more new with the tags. Yummy is the brand. Sand wash, super soft, modal, sport. It had a retail price. Oh, cable and gauge sport. This brand I find all the time at um, TJ Maxx. No one's paying $78 for this. I probably put it, it feels so good. Like I wish this was my size. It's like, I love modal. Um, but honestly, who's looking for cable and gauge on Poshmark? Probably not a lot of people. So this will go to buy, sell, trade. I probably have good intentions of keeping it or to listing it because it's new with tags. Honestly, just because it's new with tags, that's not a good enough reason for me to keep it, to sell it. Now this Banana Republic new with tags, you know, this is a skirt. Um, this is just a really nice little, I like the scallop edges. Black is so hard. Let's see. It is a size two. It's regular Banana Republic. 
Oh, it has a really cute little scallop detail. That would be so hard to photograph, honestly. We're gonna send this to buy, sell, trade. Like if it was a different color, maybe, and I better check the date. Holiday of 2016. More black. This is Bowden, size six, regular. I probably haven't done anything with this. Oh, here's why. It's missing a button on the back. And am I really gonna find a button that matches these and fix this? No, but I saved it in here because it's Bowden and it's cute, but really like, I guess I could see, let me see. Is there a spare button? Well, maybe I can send that into ThreadUp because it did say slightly, they are, they would accept anything, even slightly flawed items. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll just add that in there and see what happens. All right, more black. Can you tell I don't like photographing black and it just ends up, but this feels like linen. But this is a new day. Why do I have this in here? A new day black spaghetti strap dress. It is 55% linen, which is why I, I kept it. It's a nice, it's nice material, but nobody is paying shipping costs these days. And you know, that needs to go to buy, sell, trade. This is going perfectly. Now I'm not gonna get through this whole tote because y'all aren't gonna sit around and watch all that, but this is really making me like, just more aware of what I have sitting around. I've got so many tubs in my garage, probably similar to this, like in theory, when I got whatever box that came in, cause I, you know, a lot of mystery uh, boxes the last couple of years, I've slowed down on that. I'm doing more bins, trips. Um, you know, I would keep the best of the best and then the best of the best still wasn't that great. All right, this is by Anthropology, size US 10. Oh, it has a really pretty little back. This is a really cute dress. Now I will look it over a little better for flaws, but I should list that. This looks like maybe fold free people. Let's see if I'm right. I am right. Free people one size medium. Like this is so old, but I will go ahead and look up that OB number because you never know some free people. I always try to look up free people just because it could be something that maybe I'll try to do a quick little Google image search and see what I can find. Otherwise this just needs to go to buy, sell, trade. Why? A little Adidas. Now is it cute? Yes. Super cute. Am I going to get much for listing this online? Absolutely not. Buy, sell, trade. Samso, Samso, I probably looked this up at the time of getting this uh, box and it must have been worth like at least $20 for me to have kept it. Is it worth that now? Uh, two years probably later sitting in this box? Probably not, but it does have a nice tag. Rost long dress. So again, I will check comps, a sweater tool, which I think is an anthropology brand, something like that, but it's acrylic and nylon. I have sold stuff by this brand, but it took forever. It's a really cute little sweater dress. Buy, sell, trade's probably not buying this right now, um, but that's where I'm gonna send it first. Now, um, the thread up box is being picked up tomorrow. It is pushing that 30 pound limit if it's not already over it, and I'll just start another bin to take. This is some sort of animal print, J. Crew, but it's J. Crew Factory. And honestly, some of this stuff probably went in here when I was still quite new to selling women's items. I was doing mostly kids. And so I'm like, oh, that's a great brand. And it is, but you get the idea. All right, this is Agnes and Dora, which again, had a moment a few years ago. I don't think anybody's wearing stuff like this anymore. This might be a good one for thread up. It does have a style number. So I will look that one up again. I'm gonna try not to give myself too much homework to do after this video because I'm tired. All right, we've got a lot of beading going on. This is We The Free, size small. 
Uh, so it looks like I'm missing a bunch of the beading. Like a lot of the beading is gone on this. See the back, there's so much damage to this. And I doubt that that's intentional. It's a cool little top. Probably only kept it because it says we the free on it. Um, just for my own knowledge, I will type in that OB number just to see if I ever find this shirt again, is it worth anything? But that needs to just get donated. All right, we've got a leaf, which $59. It's a, I think leaf is a Nordstrom house brand. It is new with the tags. It is a cute, it was a skirt, size small. Yeah, this is cute. If this was bigger, I would take this to Hawaii. Um, but I don't want to photograph that. We'll try to take that to buy sale trade. Hopefully they take it. Otherwise, I know ThreadUp would have taken that. Oh, look, more black. Chico's. A black skirt, I think, size zero. This is a newer piece because it says US size four, six. Oh, they're pants. Um, easy to list, but like Chico's for me is not doing well. I've got stuff that's been sitting in my closet for years. If it was a bigger size, I might keep this. Um, let's see. Maybe I will send that to thread up. Well, I know by sell trade would probably take it, but I want to have a couple pieces in that thread up box. I am doing the, the one where they, you pay $35, they keep $35 from your earnings. And then you can pay like $15 per item to like set your price or I don't know. I'm not doing that. Whatever it was, I didn't plan to do that for any of my items. So I'm sending all this stuff in the guarantee to list hundred percent of your items, as long as it's the brands that they take. And it, it's expedited, you know, it was supposed to be done within two weeks, but I need to ensure that I'm not going to be in the hole. So something like these, surely those will sell. I'm going to send those in as like a insurance. We've got loft size, extra small, a 6450 price tag. What is this? Oh, this is just like an open front cardigan. This is really pretty. Um, you know what? Again, I think that I'm going to, add this to that thread up pile just based on the size if it was bigger i would probably list that would my buy sell trade take that probably but i only average about 350 per item all right we've got some adidas shorts size small no buy sell trade this is lucky brand dungarees size small this is a vintage top. It's really cool. I probably kept it because it snaps. Like this is really old school, uh, lucky brand. I'll list that just because I like to have some big, bold prints. I enjoy photographing that type of thing. All right, we're almost 20 minutes in. Let's see, what, uh, what is this one? Size one, US size medium, another Chico's top. New with the tags, 51.50. Um, does it say the season on this? Summer of 19. So buy sell trade is probably not going to take that. And I, it's harder to take out the dates on things that are new with the tags. So this is another one. Thread up likes Chico's. I'm going to send that to them. All right. This just has a small at the tippy top. Feels linen. Feels super tiny. 100% linen. I don't see the brand. Muji Holdings, no idea. So this actually is a pretty great brand. I believe it's Muji, probably saying that wrong, but this particular top is not so great. You can see comps are around $20, but if you find the dresses or more significant linen pieces, it would definitely be worth the pickup. So I'm probably going to list this one just because my buy sell trade won't know to look for the size under there, but we'll probably only get 20 bucks. Um, I will do a little bit more digging. Maybe there's an RN number on a tag somewhere, but I'm holding on to this because it's linen, which, all right, we've got Joe's jeans, new with a tag, the Henny mid-rise skinny crop. Nobody's buying skinny or crops right now. So another one, thread up. That box is gonna be over the weight limit. I wonder what they'll do. All right, we've got a Badgley Mishka, size extra, extra large. I know 100% this came in a thread up 200 pound box and I'm 
holding on to it because that is a designer brand, but this is like, it's a little worn. It just, I probably have no business holding on to this. I don't even know the tag is coming off. I don't know what to do with that. I'll actually, maybe my mom will want that to wear. Oh, I see a bathing suit. It's bathing suit season. I see Lily down there. What in the world? This is Gabar, size 10. Just a, a bathing suit. It's got like this sticky stuff. They're kind of like little um, butt shorts. Butt shorts, cheeky. Um, I'll look that up. I, I remember looking this up and comps are okay. What's this, Lily? Oh, these are old dresses of my girls, I think. Yeah. Oh, size small, four or five. Yes, this was Molly's. It feels like she never wore it. Is it the lighting? I thought I saw a stain. Um, this is probably the same exact dress in the same size. Yep, uh, size four or five. Cute. I will list these. Like, why? Why are these not listed? Especially that pink one. That will sell. What do we got in here? This is probably Jamie and Jack's swimwear, I had to guess. Yep, size six, which funny enough, this is Molly's size now. I don't remember what where this came from, but this is adorable. And I'm probably gonna pull this right back out because I want lighter colors for our vacation and we're about to have a try on party of all the, it's like crunch time to start getting packed for our trip. I'm gonna have her try that on. So, hey, found something I might keep out of this death pile. All right, Ugh, there's just so much in here. What is this? This is Truffle Collection Zara. Oh, this is, and the thing is, since this doesn't have a lid, some stuff's just been thrown on top and some of these things have been in here forever. Like I know this just came out of my most recent like that 400 pounds with these cute little bee, beaded detail. This is adorable. It's just Zara, but I'm gonna, gonna list it. All right, let's dig on the other side. Okay, this is Hurley. I know these little things do sell. Um, is it Coast Guard approved? I guess I, that's probably what I need to look and see. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll check comps. Uh, the Once Upon a Child, I believe, do buy these, but this is super easy to list. More Lily. This is super faded. This is a size large, 8, 10. Oh, it's a romper. Why didn't I? Oh, it's like really faded. Oh, back here. So I can list this for super cheap. Someone will want that. Uh, what's this? This is a Disney... Parks from the Vault collection. It needs a wash. That's probably why it's in here, but this is a cool little vintage -y. It's actually made by Spirit Jersey. Maybe I'll try to hand wash that. It just looks like makeup, um, you know, in the brim of a hat. But see, this is how my death piles start. Each of these items, there's a particular reason why it landed in here. Another pair of, these are Nike little shorts, but I don't, they're size small. Yeah, like w would these sell? Sure, but it, it's not a category of things that I enjoy listing, so why? Why am I holding on to it? I don't even feel like I've made a dent in this. All right, we've got Express size small. I personally like Express. I remember shopping there long, long ago. But like this, this is not trendy. I, maybe it is. I don't think it is. But um, does Express stuff have dates in it? I don't know. This is one I feel like I should send to thread up, but it's a little heavy. Okay, I think that's enough to add to the thread up box. Nana Republic was $45 marked down. What are you? A size medium, like white, roughly. I guess this would be cute underneath like a a suit, but it kind of looks like, <laughs> is there a wife beater? Are you allowed to say that anymore? I don't 
but like, do you see it's the same material? I don't know. When is this from? Let's see. From spring of 2010. So no, no, that's not in style. Okay, one more thing to thread up. And I'll take that clearance tag off. Okay. Van Heusen. Nobody's going online looking for Van Heusen. Size medium. I probably, this feels like linen. Um, it is kind of boho looking, so maybe the buy, sell, trade store will buy this. And it's only, it's a cotton poly blend actually. So that I probably kept for the simple reason that it is new with the tags. But you guys get the, the, the point. I mean, I need to make a point to do this once a week. This is loft size small, $54. This is adorable. That's the back. Now it is white. So I have to, under my lights, I would know, but that should be an easy list. All right, let's see. What is this denim? The pyramid collection, size extra small. Um, so this is like a little jacket, but you can see the damage right there. Surely this happened since it's been sitting in here, or maybe I thought I could fix that. Uh, I've never heard of this brand, but it's obviously, these are damaged, so. But that's just gonna get donated. All right, let's do three more, that's it. All right, Banana Republic, size extra small, 69.50, linen blend. Now this is cute, perfect for the season that we are in right now. I will list that. Okay, this is women's. Uh, had a price of a clearance price of seventeen fifty. Size small, Chicago Cubs. It's actually a cool little shirt. Easy to photograph and list. We'll do that. Did I say three more? So one more item. All right, this is it. This is oh Tory Burch size four, a skirt. Now. Tory Burch clothing, in my opinion, does not sell nearly as good as the shoes. Their shoes, I can't keep that in my closet. Um, it's only a size four, but I feel like this is definitely something that Buy, Sell, Trade might buy. I mean, it's a skirt, right? Like, so we're gonna try that at the Buy, Sell, Trade store. So, all right, that took me 29 minutes. So less my intro, let's say 25 minutes if if I had just not been on video, I might've gone a little bit faster, but I have got one, two, three, like seven items going to thread up. I've got four items going to Once Upon a Child. I have got a stack like this for the buy, sell, trade store. And my I've got three things to look up and here's my tote of items I'd like to photograph tomorrow. Now, is this tote empty? Definitely not, but um, this is progress and I feel like this is a manageable amount of items to be able to sit and photograph. It shouldn't take me honestly like an hour because a lot of these things I don't have to take measurements on, but that's more manageable than this huge tote that's just been daunting staring at me for way, way too long. And I have a bathing suit for Miss Molly to try on. So not exactly a super exciting video today, but I feel like a necessary task. And if you are a reseller watching my videos, I appreciate you. And maybe this gives you a little motivation to just go pull a tote out of that death pile, money pile. I know I'm not the only one that has them. Thank you for sharing all of the comments on, on the videos I've done in this series with me. And yeah, make sure you subscribe. Let's hope that that thread up box, now that I added, I think out of those maybe six or seven pieces, most of them are new with the tag. So hopefully I will cover my $35 and let's see if I can make more than a partner kit because as far as I'm concerned, all the items that you've seen here, it's just, you know, I need to just cut my losses. And if I make profit off of some of the things that I list, awesome. But I'm not gonna cry over just having to get rid of stuff because it's I, I've got to be like Elsa. We are letting it go, y'all. All right. I will see you in the next one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.